everyone. So today I promised myself that I wasn't going to film a video today because I kind of had a lot to do today. I had my whole day planned out and um, I had a lot of stuff that I needed to get done today and I promised myself that I was not going to film a video today because it just takes up a lot of time out of my day to like film a video and edit the video and post it, fill the sidebar with everything that needs to be in there. You know, just it takes a really long time to get a whole video ready and uploaded and stuff so I promised myself that I was not going to film a video and I ended up filming one as you guys can tell um, I was on Twitter today and I asked people what video they wanted me to do and I had them choose between a foundation routine my um, body splash perfume and lotion collection and then just a video that they wanted me to do and um, I think foundation routine and the body splash slash perfume and whatever collection, they were like really tied and I decided to do my foundation routine and I filmed it and then I played it, I don't know, I didn't really explain anything that good and my hair was all over the place and I didn't feel like taking my makeup off and refilming it so I just decided to film my body splash slash lotion slash perfume collection. I love watching these videos because they are just so much fun for me to watch. Um, I'm not even really dressed right now. I'm kind of in my pajamas and I have my ducky slippers on and these are so comfortable. <gasps> I love them. I got them at Bath and Body Works and they're amazing. Five stars for ducky slippers. And also I want to say really fast that I know that I have been doing a few reviews lately and I just want to let you guys know that I still have not got my camera yet which means I cannot film makeup tutorials because it just my camera does not pick up the eye makeup the right way I want it to and I've come up with a lot of really good ideas for makeup tutorials but I can't do them yet because I don't want to spend like a bunch of time doing a makeup tutorial and then my camera just not even really pick up and usually I don't even do reviews I usually do a lot of makeup tutorials and I never ever do reviews so I thought since I'm waiting to get my camera and I can't do makeup tutorials I might as well just do a bunch of reviews and then once I get my new camera, you guys probably won't see any reviews for a long time. I just want to let you guys know because a lot of people have been saying that I've been doing a lot of reviews lately. And, I mean, that's the only reason I'm doing it is because I can't film makeup tutorials. So, I finally came up with a video that's not a review, but the next video after this one will probably be a review. Um, but I think that's good because I never really do reviews and now I can just kind of put up a bunch of different reviews and then once I get my camera I'll be doing a lot of more makeup tutorials. So that's the only reason that I've been doing a lot of reviews lately and um, you know companies have been wanting to send me stuff and wanting me to do reviews but I want to let you guys know that I am not doing YouTube for the free stuff because some people try to say that I just do YouTube for the free stuff and that's not it at all. The whole point of companies sending Guru's products is so that they can try them and let their viewers know what they think about them. And then all it really comes down to is if the Guru is going to tell you the truth or not and I personally, my whole channel is 100% true and honest. All of my videos, all of my reviews, everything is true and honest and I am not going to have you guys spend your money on something that isn't worth it. So if, I mean I get a lot of different companies asking me to review stuff and I don't say yes to every single company. I mean I only pick some companies that I'm like okay you know I'll try them out and if I like them then I'll do a video so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, and yeah. So let's get started. First I'm going to start off with the lotions. Then I'm going to go body splashes and then I'll go perfumes because I don't have that many perfumes. So first off for body lotions, the first thing I have, I'm going to start off with kind of like the smaller ones. Oh, and I'll just show you guys. This is what I keep all of my body lotions in, in this little tub. And then this tub goes um, in my arm wall in like the last shelf. So that's just how I organize it if you're wondering. So the first thing I have is this Ralph Lauren Romance body moisturizer. The next one I have is this Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel um, Antibacterial Moisturizing Hand Lotion. And the next one I have is this Secret Natural Body Lotion, which I am in love with. It smells pretty much natural, but it really moisturizes my skin, and I love that one. Next I have, what else? I have... This Bath & Body Works Country Apple Body Lotion, which I am in love with. It smells like apples, and I love apple smells. I love it. So this is a really nice one. 
Um, next I have a Victoria's Secret Love Spell Hydrating Body Lotion. And I love the smell of the um, Love Spell. It smells so good. I had the body spray to it, but I lost it. They say Temptations. I have Glittery Gumdrop and Twisted Peppermint. And I love the peppermint one. Of course, because I'm obsessed with peppermint. Next, I have this Bath & Body Works Velvet Tube Rose Body Lotion. And this is a very floral scent. Okay, next I have Beauty Rush Grapesicle Body Drink Lotion, which smells just like grape soda. Next I have this Bath & Body Works Body Lotion Body Cream in Warm Vanilla Sugar. And I, next I have, okay, you guys are probably going to laugh at this one, but I have um, Baby Lotion. I mean, I don't know if everyone has Baby Lotion at like around my age, but I don't know. Like where I live, it's kind of normal. Like so many teenagers have Baby Lotion. I don't know why, it's just, it smells really good. Oh, I love it. It smells like babies and it's really moisturizing. So for me, it's kind of normal because like everyone I know has baby lotion even if they're not a baby. So yeah. <laughs> Next lotion is um, this one. This is from Bath & Body Works and it is the American Girl Real Beauty Take Your Vitamins Daily Body Lotion in Apple Blossom and I am obsessed with this so much. So I got this at Bath & Body Works and they don't sell this at Bath & Body Works anymore. But it smells, oh my gosh, it smells like apples. Okay, next lotion I have is Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. And this is probably my favorite scent. Next one I have is the Twilight Woods Body Cream. And this is from Bath & Body Works. And it smells, it's a very musky scent. Yeah, it's very kind of musky, but it smells really good, and I just like it because it has the name Twilight in it. And the last body lotion I have is this one. This is the Drenched in Pink Fruity and Bright Super Soft Body Lotion. And this is like a huge container, and it smells really good. It's just a very fruity scent, and it's very girly. I love this one. I've had it, like, forever. Okay, now body splashes. I have a lot of body splashes because I just love them, and... I don't have as many perfumes because um, I don't really like strong scents, so I mainly use body splashes because body splashes are water-based and perfumes are alcohol-based. So first off, I have two Bath & Body Works body splashes in Enchanted Orchid and Velvet Tuberose. Next I have this one, which was from American Eagle, and I don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, I'm going to have to get it. It doesn't have like a name or anything. Oh, it says... Airy Sharing Misty Body Spray. I have to find this one because it smells so good. I don't know, it's probably on the website. I hope it is. It smells so good, and I've used so much of that one. Next one is um, from Bath & Body Works, and this is Warm Vanilla Sugar, and I love the Warm Vanilla Sugar scent. Next I have, what is this, Twilight Woods, which this is just like the body lotion. It's very musky, and it smells really, really good. The next one I have is Japanese Cherry Blossom, which I'm in love with, and I just had to go buy this one um, a few days ago because it smells amazing. And then the last one I have from Bath & Body Works is Sweet Pea, and it's just a very sweet scent. Okay, then I have this pink with a splash, soft and pure, all over body mist, which smells really good. It's like pink and it has the green cap, and it smells very fresh and crisp. It smells amazing. Okay, and then the last ones I have are all Beauty Rush Body Spray, so I'm just going to run through these really fast. First one I have is Grapesicle, and this is purple, and you can see I've used so much. Um, it brings back so many memories. Like, do you ever have that scent that you just smell, and it brings back so many memories because you used to wear it? Um, yeah. I used to wear this, like, three years ago, and it brings back so many memories. But I'm kind of, I don't really wear this one that much because I'm kind of tired of it because I used to wear it, like, every single day. Next one I have is Slice of Heaven, which smells like orange and vanilla, and I love orange and vanilla. Next I have Apple Teeny, and this is, it kind of smells like green apples, but it doesn't really smell like the DKNY Be Delicious perfume. It smells a little bit similar, but it's a little bit sweeter, not as crisp as the DKNY Be Delicious green apple perfume. Next I have Coconut Craze, which smells like pure coconut. It's really, really good. Next I have Candy Baby, and this one smells like cotton candy. It's amazing. Then I have one from their winter collection, and this is Sugar Pop, and it's blue. 
and it smells so good. And the last and the last body mist I have is Strawberry Fizz from Beauty Rush, and this smells just like strawberries and vanilla. It's amazing. This Okay, and now onto my perfumes. Like I said, I don't have many perfumes, mainly because they are very strong. And I'm not the type of person to wear perfume every day. I mainly wear body splashes every day. But, you know, if I'm going out to dinner or something, then I wear perfume. So the first one I have is the Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Perfume, which I've had for a really long time, so you can see I've used a lot. The next perfume I have is from Rue 21, and this is their Pink Ice Perfume. And this is the only perfume that I like from Rue 21. Because it smells like, it's a really good summer scent. It smells like um, pink grapefruit. That's what it smells like. It smells just like pink grapefruit. So I wouldn't wear this in the winter. But I really like it for like spring and summer because it smells like pink grapefruit. And I love pink grapefruit. Next one I have is from Abercrombie Kids, I think. And I don't know which one this is, but the packaging just looks like that. And it smells like an Abercrombie store. It smells really good, and I've used a lot of that one. Okay, and then the next perfume I have is the Aqualina Pink Sugar Perfume, which I absolutely love. And so this is a really good perfume if you are that type of person that wants a sweet-smelling perfume, but you don't want something that smells really, really, really sweet. Um, because it smells like sugar, but it has a spice to it which I love. This perfume is addicting. Like, it's addicting. You smell this and you will not be able to get enough of this perfume. I have used this perfume for years and I can literally keep smelling it and not get sick of it. It is like, literally, this is like a drug. I'm not even kidding. Okay, my next perfume is the DKNY Be Delicious Green Apple Perfume, which smells, it doesn't really smell like green apples. It just smells very crisp and clean. It's just a really nice smell, but I do have a problem with the staying on me. Um, it doesn't have a really long staying power on me. Like when I did my Christmas haul and I showed this, a lot of people were saying that they had this perfume and they had problems with it staying on them too. Um, I can put this on and you will already notice it's starting to fade away in about 30 minutes, which is kind of the downside to this. So I don't wear this perfume a lot because when I do wear it, I kind of have to spray a lot on me just for it to stay on. Okay, my last perfume, which is my all-time favorite perfume in the world, and I'm still obsessed with it. It is the Juicy Couture perfume. This is their first one, and um, I really love it. I don't like Viva La Juicy. I don't like their newest one that they just came out with. I love this one. It smells like, um, it smells very fruity and girly and feminine. This is a perfume that I would wear all year long just because I love it so much. And um, it kind of has a hint of honeysuckle in it, but not a really strong honeysuckle smell. It's mainly fruity, but you can smell a little bit of honeysuckle in it, which is really good because I do like the smell of honeysuckle. Okay, so that is my lotion slash body splash slash perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have a favorite lotion or body splash or perfume, please leave it below because I am obsessed with things like that, and I would love to find some new scents. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.